I'm Rick Randall, rock and roller. such a blessing and I'm so happy that I was in it but no at the time we filmed it and you know hoping for another job and just hoping that it was going to turn out good now um, what was the most fun of doing the Halloween do you have like a scene that you loved uh, probably you know when uh, Bob comes back I think it's Bob but it's not with the sheet over his head and the glasses and I'm trying to get him to come back in bed but he is just <laughs> not listening it's like where's my beer see anything you like nothing so that was fun because a lot of it was ad lib now not this is not only your only horror film you also did carry right now how was that as well like especially well, that was my first film so i was very surprised when the director brian de palma put me on for the rest of the shoot because i only had one line mm -hmm. and then he kept putting me in with nancy allen and so the two of us were the bad girls that you know ganged up against sissy or yeah. carrie yeah so, and that was great too that that turned out to be, uh, you know, a wonderful movie that people still love today. And the red hat lives on. Right? <laughs> I was like, well, how come she always keeps that red hat on? Especially even in prom, she keeps yeah, on. I didn't. <laughs> Ryan De Palma came out of my prom dress and he goes, where's your hat? And I said, you want me to wear my hat to the prom? He goes, Norma always has her hat. And I'm like, okay, and it works. Yeah. What was it like filming that? that ending scene, that brutal scene where everything's coming down and everyone's getting killed, the hose, all that. Well, we filmed that for three days and it was wild and crazy and yes, the hose was bad because it broke my eardrum. Oh, really? Full force went into my ear and so the last scene of, that I ever filmed was me getting hit in the ear mm -hmm. and the pain was excruciating but then you see me slide down the the stadium bed yeah. bleachers and uh, that was it. <laughs> they carried me out and took me to the hospital. <laughs> wow, that's pretty crazy. I didn't know you got really injured in that. Because I thought they would like switch off hoses to like a regular normal hose. Well, yeah, the, uh, the, the actual, the fire chief said, no, we can't do it. It's going to be too powerful. But then the stunt guy said, I'll do it. It'll be fine. I won't hurt her. But <laughs> Now with Halloween, did you think it was ever going to grow as a franchise? Because I know in the beginning, I watched some documentaries where even like even the actors went in and also did some of the work as well behind the scenes, you know, getting right. things done. No, I mean, like I said in the beginning, it was a three-week shoot. It was $300,000 budget. Everybody was just starting out. Mm -hmm. It was Jamie Lee Curtis's pretty much first role. Um, and so none of us thought, you know, it was going to go on. Had I known, 
Ben, I would have said, don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, you're like one of the favorite characters. And even you've done like many of everyone's favorite characters, especially in Rock and Roll High School. Yeah. What was that like, especially like yeah. hanging around with the Ramones? That was fun. Everybody thinks it was such a blast with the Ramones, but they were very quiet, shy. Typically, you know, you make a movie, you get up at 5 in the morning. Uh -huh. That was not their thing. So, no, they were pretty quiet, except when it came time to filming their concert scenes. Yeah. And that was three days of watching them get to perform, and that was awesome. So it was really the first time we got a chance to see what they do mm -hmm. because we weren't familiar with them. They were just starting out, at yeah. least in L.A., not in New York. Yeah. They were known there, but... So it was fun, definitely fun. You even had like some awesome outfits that yes, I love. All of those were mine. <laughs> yes, they, you they brought those in? Oh yes, because I had a very specific idea of how I wanted Riff Randall to look, uh -huh. and their budget was a hundred dollars. Wow. Hello, what kind of pair of shorts? So <laughs> anyway, yeah, I went out and I mapped out all my scenes and which outfit I was going to wear the longest. So it was going to be the best outfit, and yeah. I just wanted her to pop. You know, yeah. the, the Ramones play really quickly and with energy, and I wanted my character Riff Randall to reflect that energy. So, so the clothes also had to be bright and poppy. And now, like. Especially, what do you think of the Rob Zombie where they remade uh, the whole? Movie? Yeah, well, I mean, I liked the first one. I didn't see the second one, but you know, he had a right, and uh, he loved uh, the original film, and so he wanted to reimagine it. Mm -hmm. I think it's cute that he did uh, his copy of this picture with yes. his girls. I thought that was really cute, and a lot of homage to us, obviously, in the movie. So. And then also, you were also featured in a Rob Zombie movie, The Devil's Reject. Yeah, now, how was that? That was awesome. There's Sid Haig. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I'm like, I know her. It's PJ Souls, and she's like in Devil's Reject. It's pretty amazing. Well, especially Rob, Rob Zombie loved, of course, me from Carrie and Halloween yeah. and Rock and Roll High School. He was friends with Johnny Ramone. So when he asked me to do it, I, I, did, I knew his music and I knew about him, but I rented House of the Thousand Corpses, and I went, mm. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gruesome. So. But then they sent me my scene. I went, all right, it gets punched out. I don't get killed, so okay, I'll do it. <laughs> and then it just turned out to be amazing. And I love Sid Haig. And um, a lot of people comment that they love that scene. So I'm, I'm really happy that I got to do, yeah. do that and work with Rob Zombie. <laughs> right. And then he also did Stripes, Private yeah, Benjamin. It's pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, Bill Murray. He's not funny no? uh, unless the camera's rolling. Uh, he can he's be only pretty moody, camera. but oh. you know we had a great chemistry mm -hmm. together. So that's pretty awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on, uh, doing an interview with me. And where can your fans find you? Can they find you on the internet? Uh, I'm on Facebook. You know, it's hard to friend me, but you can still see my page or whatever. And if you know you persist, I can I can friend you. But it's uh, it'll say that I'm full or something. But is there any, another con that you'll be doing soon? Um, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be at the Chiller Theater Convention in New Jersey, so Parsippany, New Jersey, and that'll be the weekend before the real Halloween. Great. <laughs> and then Days of the Dead in Chicago in November. So. That'll finish out the year. All right, awesome. Thank you so much for your time. It was great talking to you. Thank you. Totally. <laughs>